Okay, now we're going to fit the oil filter to the uh, time inside uh, crankcase. It's pretty straightforward. You've got oil filter which slides in. We'll do that in a minute. Then there's a spring that goes on the tang. And then <clears throat> cap just simply screws on. But the only thing I'm doing to this is I'm just replacing the old uh, worn out rubber o-ring that goes in the cap with a with a new one okay now the the and the only real thing of note with the oil filter is that this is they're both these are both actually mgo filters let's see if i can find this there it is i've chucked it away <coughs> but this is an original mgo filter and this is a later i don't know maybe a copy filter i'm not sure but the thing to notice is it's the hole in the end as you can see the hole on the right is a larger diameter than on the left the left one is a newer one <coughs> and the larger one is the original and obviously there's a danger of restricting oil flow into the oil filter if that hole that hole is too small so uh, it's generally recommended if you're using one of these repro oil filters is to enlarge that hole slightly so that it resembles this size but we're lucky we've got the original so we don't have to worry about that right okay so we're going to fit the uh, oil filter but the only thing i'm going to do is i'm going to sl slap a bit of oil inside the filter not too much but i'm just going to pour some down inside the filter or tip it down in this case so get a, you know a bit of oil in there there we go and then it simply slides in a bit more cloth, I? spring over the tank and then the cap uh, over the spring and on it goes <clears throat> Now, I haven't polished that up or anything, that cap, because, uh, to be honest, it's, it's almost invisible when it's on the bike. You know, it's down the bottom, it's underneath the gearbox. I know you can see it now, but when the gearbox and that's on, you'll uh, hardly be able to see this. So, uh, I've not bothered polishing that cap up. You know, if you want to be a bit anal, I mean, on my bikes, I've polished it up. <laughs> But, you know, you can't really see it. There we go. And there we go. Oil filter on. Okay, I'm just getting ready to fit the uh, taco drive back to the crankcases. Now, as you may remember, the taco drive was absolutely sea solid. I've managed to get it apart, but I've had to replace, I've had to replace a lot of the uh, parts inside it. We've actually managed to, to keep the casing, so we haven't had to replace the whole thing. But uh, the... Uh, this is the drive that goes into the exhaust camshaft. I should have a tang on the end like this, so we, the tang was snapped off. And so we had a new drive for that. Then this is the drive that goes into the taco cable. And the uh, one of the arms was snapped off that, so uh, we've got a new... Okay, there it is. We've got a new drive with uh, both arms on. Uh, that's a doughty washer. So it's a, a washer with a little oil sim in the middle, a doughty washer. So obviously replace that. That's the original body we've managed to I've managed to clean that up and get rid of all the solidified grease i think it was inside this is the main bolt left hand thread that holds the actual taco onto the crankcase then uh, this is the uh, this is the outer plug uh, that goes on the side now basically i've renewed it because this one was okay but it looks a bit monkey and you know so i've got a nice new one so it stands out a bit and then uh, and this is the bottom uh, plug which I'm keeping just putting a new o-ring on it um, the thing about this is to remember is that the bottom plug is left hand thread as well and I say that because it's not even mentioned in the manual they tell you that that's left hand thread but they don't tell you that that, that is left hand thread that's in the main Triumph workshop manual so just be aware okay so I'm going to uh, First of all, I'm going to put this into the housing, put the doughty washer on the back and then screw it into the crankcase and I'll put some thread lock on <clears throat> the thread. Again, 
more more of a as a sealant rather than anything else. Right, so I've uh, put the uh, left-handed mounting bolt into the end of the casing, or gearbox as it's called, and and then I've uh, pushed the doughty washer onto this side. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to fit this um, this drive shaft, which is the one that goes up uh, to to do the cable, um, because you can't fit that after you've got it. Uh, you've got the gearbox on the uh, on the engine. Yeah. Clamp cases in the way, so I've got some lovely gooey grease. Mm. Oh. Yeah, lovely gooey grease. Yuck. And uh, going to give that a really good greasing. And throws all that up inside, making sure there's lots of grease there. Uh, and that's up inside. I'm just checking that's all turning properly and easily, which it is. Okay, so then that is now ready for us to mount onto the uh, onto the crankcase. Right, I've. Uh, I've put some <coughs> uh, lock on the uh, thread, looks like I put a bit too much on, <laughs> it's leaking a bit there. And then left hand thread, don't forget, I'm now going to tighten this up. And it will tighten up against the washer. The, uh, the body will always move slightly. And there, we'll get it nice and tight. Yeah. We don't want it leaking. There we go. Good stuff. And I'll wipe that excess uh, stuff off and then we'll carry on. Right, as you were, I've just had to slacken the... Uh, I've just had to slacken it back off again because I've forgotten to put the uh, end cap on. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. On the bottom, of course. Uh, let's have a look. Left-hand thread, left-hand thread... And, of course, you can't get it on with the uh, crankcase in the way there. So I've slackened it off <clears throat> so I could rotate the... Uh... Oops. There we go. Almost undid it again because, of course, it's left hand thread. Yes, we know it is. But it is, it really is so foreign to me to screw things in left hand. You really have to think twice about it. Let's do this uh, back up again. Left hand thread. Be careful where you don't want to. Yeah, that's good. Good, good. Okay, <coughs> now <coughs> we'll get the other drive shaft and put loads of grease on that and put that in. Okay, we've got the, uh, the drive shaft that now goes in and locates with the end of the uh, exhaust camshaft so I'm putting a load of grease on that uh, now the only problem we're going to have with this I envisage is uh, that we have to locate the tang at the end of this which I'm oh, sorry you can't see that uh, locate the, the, the tang this tang has to go into the end of the camshaft so obviously we've got to have it in the right position if it's not in the right position then obviously it's not going to Locate, oh dear. There, that yeah. it's gone, it's gone fully home. Went fully home uh, pretty easy, so that's 
great. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're now engaged with the uh, camshaft. I'm just checking by turning that. that uh, the, uh, yeah, doesn't want to move. That's great. So what I'm going to do now is then... Uh, so next up, I'm going to finish packing this uh, for the grease. Okay, and then I'll get the end cap. And now I've got the new end cap, which is got a, like a hollow bit, and I'm going to fill that for the grease as well, so it's like a reservoir of grease. And then, right hand thread, thankfully, we'll put that on. I'll wipe myself down a bit. Bleh. There we are. The uh, Taco Drive gearbox back in situ. Good.